Hello, Versus System folks. Um, I wanted to kind of start a series uh, about where some characters are today in Versus System. Um, I kind of want to see what you guys think about this. Do you think that some of these uh, main characters and things like that that I'm going to showcase today still have any viability? Um, I just want to today just talk about Wolverine because Wolverine's kind of my favorite character in the Marvel Universe and all that fun stuff and I kind of want to see how he's become has his power level kind of gone up gone down since um since the game's been expanded upon in the past five years you know does a Wolverine deck seem a little bit more um attractive today as it did maybe five years ago so going into this uh a few things to know about Wolverine is that he's gone through a few changes um since 2015 his level one character card always been the same but he's also been added a, a alternative level two with a level three component uh today we're not going to talk about those we're going to talk about the level one and level two that he came out with in 2015 and kind of going into um you know what are some ways that we can try to improve on this uh where are some cards that have also been helpful that have come out in the past recent years um, and kind of see where he could be in the future. Um, can he be viable? Can he be used in a, can he be considered a tier one main character in, uh, in Versus System? I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm looking forward to your guys' comments in, uh, to this video. So let me know what you guys think. Um, so Wolverine, level one. He's on the X-Men team. He has no flight or range. Uh, he has three attack, four defense with five health. He has the superpower Snicked which I'm assuming kind of flavor-wise is him kind of taking out his claws. Um, during any turn of combat, you can pay a red. Wolverine gets plus three, plus zero this combat. So his claws give him additional attack power when he's fighting enemies. Best of what he does, level up, three XP. When Wolverine makes a solo attack and stuns an enemy character, he gains an XP. So the idea behind this is that he... Oh, excuse me. The idea behind this is that he has to attack characters by himself, be able to take them down, and then be able to gain an XP. So hence why Snicked gives him a little bit of attack boost. Um, so when this card, when I first saw this card, I was really kind of excited because I'm like, okay, aggressive card, aggressive deck. Uh, let's see what we can make. And in the Marvel Battle set, there were a few, there were a few other cards that would put minus one, minus ones on uh, enemy characters and kind of weaken them and stuff like that. And some other cards that would have counter generation. So I tended to use like an X-Men Avengers sort of setup where you would put a lot of Black Widows out um, to try to weaken your opponent as you're able to do some counter generation with... Um, uh, with Captain America and a few others that were able to kind of buff up the characters on your side. Um, also with any plot twists like squad tactics and, and X factor and things like that from the X-Men, but as well as using cards like Stark tech, um, you know, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, things like that from the Avengers was very helpful for Wolverine to kind of be sustainable. Uh, think again's, could possibly be used in order to try to keep him alive uh, going towards the late stages of the game. Uh, but the idea behind Wolverine is you want to take down your opponent's main character by turn five. By turn five, you want your opponent's main character down because if they have any ramp, ramp up ability on their end, Wolverine is going to have a hard time maintaining that. Um, but you're going to also see how when he becomes level two, they try to give him the ability to sustain himself and stay on the board. But for the most part, Wolverine really had a hard time staying alive. Um, and I really think this is why they kind of gave him his alternative level 2 and his level 3. Mostly because he had a hard time just staying around. Uh, I never played any tournament play or anything like that. So this is all speculation from my front. Just being a big fan of the game and having played play tested a lot on my own. But has played with friends. Um, but yeah, Wolverine in the early stages, I think really had a hard time getting to where he needed to be. But as level one, um, nowadays, now that some cards have come out, he's actually become a little bit more, uh, sustainable. I think one card to kind of look into is Dr. Nemesis. Dr. Nemesis is, um, 
I think is really powerful because he can double the attack and defense gains from combat plot twists. So any plot twists that you have in your deck with um, with Wolverine, in which you kind of gain an attack and defense buff, one mostly being main strength that you can see here, um, that gives you plus two, plus zero this combat. Um, so that would be a plus four, plus zero this combat. On top of a plus three from Snicked, you can be pretty powerful. You can have 10 attack uh, as a level one main character. Would you need that? Maybe not until a little bit later towards the end if they start throwing out kind of uh, drops with very high defense numbers. But for the most part, Wolverine can pretty much take out any cards from maybe up to like four to a four drop um, with that snicked ability. So the thing is that he has the potential to be able to do that stuff is, but if you have a, maybe a, main character on the opposing side that's more of a control-like character and things like that that kind of likes to control the combat it's gonna be very difficult for wolverine to uh to do anything but yeah so here we go you have main strength um and also dr nemesis to double those attack gains so i think dr nemesis is a really good card to have and he came out through the utopian battles and the resistance expansion uh that kind of went along with it um Another one drop, I think, that came out even before that uh, was Solo. And I think Solo is definitely a card to have in any Wolverine deck. <laughs> uh, mostly because he gives people who solo attack plus and plus one counters on them every time they attack. So every time Wolverine would solo attack, you would put a plus one plus one on him. So essentially, if he solo attacked his first turn, you become a 4-5 and then again a 5-6. So the thing is that if he keeps solo attacking, solo attacking, solo attacking, he's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, and with that snicked ability, I think solo is kind of essential to have in this deck. But yeah, solo came out, I believe, um, I could be wrong, but I believe solo came out around 2017. Um, let me just kind of see if I can find the year in the bottom of this card. Um 27, 20, 2018 it looks like, 2018. So it was about a few summers ago, um, Solo came out with the Deadpool expansions and um, definitely has been used in a lot of other decks. But yeah, so I think Solo, pretty darn powerful. Um, as we kind of go along with this, I think one card I think you should start thinking about as well is X-23. Now, the ability for her to heal wounds and to kind of get bigger and bigger and bigger with plus and plus one counters is great. But I think towards the later stages of the game, I think she becomes very essential um, because A, she becomes a huge threat to your, opponent, uh, to your opponent. So if they just don't do anything to her and focus on Wolverine, she's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger every turn and she's going to be much more of a threat uh, to try to take down. So the thing is that, you know, they're mostly going to try to probably focus on X-23 instead of Wolverine. So she's a good way to kind of like sway the focus away from Wolverine. She came out in the New Mutants expansion. Um, and I, I like this card. I think it's awesome. So, um, so the ability for her to just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger is just, it's, it's awesome. Giving her plus two, plus, uh, two plus and plus one counters, all that sort of stuff. Um, as a four drop, although five five four drop with two health may not seem like amazing uh, with someone without flight or range, but I think the ability to heal wounds from yourself as well as keep ramping up, I think, is really good. Um, so Wolverine could be really good at um, you know X twenty three could be really good at trying to take away the focus away from Wolverine and putting it more on her. Um, let's see. Um, as the game has kind of continued on, like one other thing that I think is really big is Moonstone, um, who came out with the A-Force expansion. I think she's really important mostly just because she gets rid of flight, um, gets rid of flight for characters. Because one big concern that you really have with Wolverine is that you want Wolverine to be in the front row to be able to take guys down. But when you leave them in your front row, you leave them susceptible to people with range and other things like that. And the thing is that Moonstone enables you to force your uh, your opponent's attackers to hit Wolverine. Um, and there's a, there's a caveat to this. So you have them attack Wolverine, and Wolverine defends your back row, but then you also have the fact that Wolverine has to um, uh, 
try to stay alive. Because if you just have like a range attacker just shoot at Wolverine and take him down, now your whole back line is, is basically susceptible to being hit. So you have to make sure you have other characters in your front line and things like that to be able to help you. But I found Moonstone to be very powerful uh, in order to try to keep my back line safe. So this way it would stop any flyers or anything like that from going over Wolverine and coming back into my back row and attacking um, anyone in my back row. Um, so yeah, as the expansions have gone on, Moonstone's been good. Um, another one... Uh, um, another one is Hellion. I think this is really good to try to keep gaining XP. Um, Hellion is from the Resistance team. He's got Flight, 3 Attack, 4 Defense, 1 Health. So the fact that he has Flight helps you defend characters in your back row. On top of this, he, you pay a green, ready, or exhaust a face-up character. So, pretty sweet. So you can ready Wolverine again. He can go and attack again. Gain another plus one, plus one from Solo. And be able to keep ramping up his ability to get bigger and bigger and bigger each turn. So you put Solo down on turn one. Put Hellion down on turn two. Pay a green when the Wolverine attacks after the first time. Just keep giving Wolverine the ability to keep ramping up, ramping up each turn. Um, so yeah, so that's why I think is really good with Hellion. Um, coming from that uh, the Utopian Battle set. So with some of these guys kind of... Uh, being added as the game has gone on wolverine has definitely become much more of a powerful character but what happens when he gains that three xp what happens now that you've got him to the point where he's ramped up enough he's taken down enough characters by himself right he becomes a level two wolverine now level two wolverine in the marvel battle set had eight attack four defense five health uh, with the healing factor now with the additional superpower main phase pay a green heal wounds from wolverine now, with this, in the early set, I was like, wow, an 8 attack main character. That is pretty freaking great. Um, and I think he was one of the only ones to have 8 attack in the game, uh, in the Marvel Battle set. I don't even think Thanos had up that um, had that high of stats uh, in the early stages. So, the fact that Wolverine had 8 attack, I think, is really great. The fact that he can go up to 11 attack as a main character I thought was even great by the payment of a red. And the fact that he can heal wounds from, in, uh, from himself really gave me the impression that, okay, now I understand the play style fully. You want to rush him into opponents, even if it's cost him his own life, and then had him continue to heal wounds off himself. So you're just throwing him into enemies during your level 1 phase, even in level 2, and you keep healing wounds from him each turn, so you can keep going at it. Um, I can see how this definitely could have backfired on Wolverine a lot um, in early decks, and why Wolverine just wasn't really considered a very high tier main character. Um, the fact that other cards could definitely stop cancel combats and things like that that stop Wolverine from gaining XP, as well as from him being able to use that 8 attack for what he wanted to use it for. Um, I definitely can see that, especially even with not even getting the greens that you need and be able to keep them alive. And even now, there's characters, I think Lady Deathstrike is one, that like, there's even characters that like, if they hit you and they survive, they can like, wound you twice. So... Even healing that wound may not be, you know, good enough to keep Wolverine alive. So I know a lot of people consider, like, five health characters will be a little bit more viable in the game. But I think Wolverine is definitely, has, can, you know, you can really consider him to have more than five health. Uh, especially if you can get him up to level two without having too many wounds on him. He could be, he could last a really long time. So yeah, so that's what I think about Wolverine level 2. But here are some cards that can help that level 2 a little bit. Um, one I think is essential for any Wolverine deck is uh, this one drop that I think is great. And that's Victoria Hand. I think a lot of people may have seen this already. But Victoria Hand, um, not really for Agent, for, for mostly for Right Hand Woman. Agent is a nice touch, but Right Hand Woman is uh, the big one. The first time a main character on your side uses a green or might superpower, each turn they pay one less might. That's awesome. So now you have um, Wolverine can heal wounds for free when she's out. So you put her down as a one drop. He heals a wound for free. 
And then let's say she gets taken out. That's fine. You might have another copy of her in your hand. Or maybe you just pay another green. But you got that green for free, right? And I think she is important for Wolverine to be considered more viable today as a higher tier main character. Um, the only thing is that, it, uh, for me, you don't even really have to worry about keeping her alive. But if you end up keeping her alive, that, that's even better. Um, three defense for a one drop is great. But I really don't bring her out until Wolverine is level 2 uh, because of that right-hand woman ability. So I, I bring out other level one, uh, 1 drops like Dr. Nemesis and things like that and Solo. And I keep Victoria Hand out for when he becomes level 2. Um, so I think she's very important for him to kind of maintain um, the battle and kind of uh, and just become an unstoppable juggernaut. Now, the next thing the, to add here, since we have some resistance cards in, uh, in my deck that I've been kind of creating for him, I add Fight the Good Fight. Uh, main phase, recover and ready a stunned character on your side. It has Ferocious this turn. So I think that is really good for Wolverine since he's that type of deck that you just throw him into enemies and he keeps getting stunned. Put this down, he gets recovered, and then uh, they have Ferocious this turn. And let's say you attacked with Wolverine, but you haven't healed a wound from him yet. So you attack, you get the wound, then you heal the wound. Now you're ferocious with eight attack, I think is really good. Um, so the thing is that in, he can go to 11. So he can be a ferocious with 11. I just think I just think that fight the good fight is definitely worthwhile to have in a Wolverine deck. Especially this sort of Wolverine deck where you're just going to keep throwing yourself out onto the opponent as much as you can um so yes these are some of the cards that have come out uh due to this um as you kind of notice that with moonstone they're from uh femme fatales and uh just a, you know a few additional things uh cat fight is awesome to have with wolverine to give him more attack pen, uh attack potential when he's solo attacking so that's always useful um as well as um black cat herself in order to remove those plus and plus one counters off of uh, opponent uh, opposing characters so the thing is that you know even if they attacked you and they have a whole bunch of plus and plus ones wolverine can't seem to get over that black cat can come out remove those from you with her unlucky break and then you can bring down uh bring them down with wolverine so i think you know those are always useful potential you can always have calypso too uh, which is when she appears you can remove plus and plus one counters but I think Black Cat, I think, is a little more versatile because you can uh, just attack them and then and then do that sort of thing. So, um, so that's what I kind of like with Black Cat. Um, but yeah, like, and then another card that I would add is uh, Hella. So Hella comes out and she has five attack, five defense with range, and she gains plus five. Uh, she gains five plus and plus one counters if all enemy characters are stunned. So the idea is that Wolverine, like would go out there, remove a whole bunch of uh, characters out on the board by keep readying him and stuff like that, and then Hella would come out and just get big a big character with range in your back row. Because you really want characters in your back row to be very powerful um, to try to stop your, main, you know, your opposing characters from attacking you and trying to go towards the people in your back row. So even Hella on top of Solo could be, become really powerful. Um, so yeah, you know, Hella, Black Cat, Victoria Hand, all these cards that have come out, I definitely think it make Wolverine a much more viable character. If you have any uh, other ideas, you know, things like that that you guys would like to share with me, let me know. Um, any, you know, any other insight or anything like that you think about Wolverine, maybe there's some things I missed. Um, but just let me know in the comments and uh, I look forward to you know hearing from you guys and just remember to stay frosty.